Hi everyone, this is a update on the uh, Gobo motor, uh, which is a horrible uh, replication attempt or study. And uh, this is just going to be a quick short uh, video, it won't be very long. This is my uh, split uh, dual coil here on this side. And I wound as well another dual coil here, but I didn't split the sides. I just round, wound the two wires together to see the difference. And from what I can tell, this uh, split coil uh, seems to be performing better. Uh, and um, that's about all. Right now I have both of them working together. And uh, the current is getting down quite a bit. We are now at uh, pretty well 5 milliamps uh, running at 1.5 volts. So that's the lowest that I've had it uh, working at this time. And uh, the flyback is uh, 0.78 volts on the 1k ohm resistor. Uh, flyback seems to be going down. I guess uh, these two here are in series and uh, that's uh, I guess quite a lot of wire for this uh, short pulse uh, to engage I guess so getting better flyback with uh, just one coil but yet it uses more uh, current so um, that's about it for this uh, setup what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take uh, this uh, and reposition this side here so that uh, this one will be an attraction when this one is at, at top dead center just to see uh, what happens uh, with that kind of configuration okay I made the uh, changes I have this now at about a well in between the magnets so that it helps uh, to exit this one as this one is starting to attract I added another reed switch here and um, right now that coil isn't connected I just need to add one wire just to show you uh, it's drawing about well, maybe around 18 milliamps uh, in this configuration it's a little more drain because now it's got the extra drag on this one here and uh, the flyback is uh, 0.84 volts in this way and now I'll just add this wire here and now that coil there is electrically collect, connected and the amp draw is more uh, but what's happening too is the rotor is starting to increase uh, the rotor was at uh, 250 uh, rpm and now we're heading in the uh, beginning of the 300 rpm range so it runs somewhere around uh, 305, 305 RPM in that configuration. The uh, flyback is uh, less and uh, that's because it's starting to uh, make shorter, uh, I guess, pulses uh, because of the faster speed. And there would be the same amount of flyback also coming off of that. I didn't connect a flyback uh, capacitor to that side there. But it would be basically 1.5 volts between the two of uh, flyback co collected on a uh, 1k ohm resistor. So that looks like what it's about, about 24 uh, milliamps, uh, both coils in this configuration. And uh, I guess that's about it. There's uh, flyback being uh, not collected uh, by this coil is activating my meter over there at the back. Um, I guess that's about it. Just thought I'd show that. And um, I think the uh, better uh, uh, configuration of these two coils, I would vote for the uh, split uh, coil there. It seems to uh, be give, giving some better results than adding two wires all around. So that's about it for today and uh, I don't know if I'm going to continue working on this uh, or just uh, do my own design basically.
So this was fun anyways, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.